We're live? We're live? We're live, I'm just talking. Hi hey. everyone, we're live at five. Uh, what's going on? Hey guys. I'm uh, Paul Wintour. I'm Andy Lovegoy. Uh, Courtney Wolfson's here, you guys, yes. who we love, and she's going to be, okay, so I found, I, f- I figured out the angle. Today is the 20th anniversary of Romeo and Michelle. Did oh you know this? Oh my goodness, I did Romain not Michelle know this. Re- yeah, um, it, the movie came out 20 years ago today. Okay. Did you know this? Oh my did everybody know this? Does everybody know this? We figured it out. Uh, it's like a puzzle. And then because of that, uh, Courtney Wolfson is starring in the musical version in Seattle. We're going to talk about that. Hopefully Broadway bound. It better be it better, because it this is a fun. Be. Come on. This is such a fun property. Yeah. So uh, we'll get to Courtney, but let's talk about the news. news. There's a lot of news. It's the yes. biggest week on Broadway. It's a every very year. Every week. This is the time to pay attention to Broadway.com because Indeed. everything's happening. For sure. So last night Anastasia opened on right. Broadway and uh, Matt Roden did a really fun red carpet yes. challenge yes. in which he asked people on the carpet to do a dramatic reading of the Oscar nominated song Journey to the Past. So that you piece them all together, including like Liz Calloway, who's yeah. like very emotional. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, special shout out to Caroline O'Connor, Indeed. who's hilarious. Yes. But all of them, Ramin, I mean all of them, and then Christy. Anyway, just watch it. It's, it's a incredible. very, very funny video. Yeah. And uh, the new revival of John Guare's Six Degrees. Oh, wait a minute. But oh we my also, God. I'm sorry also, to go ahead, Go ahead. But we yeah. also have these great photos. Uh, Christy. Kay- yeah, Caitlin followed Christy all night and sort of documented Christy Altamar. Happy opening. Uh, documented her amazing night. I mean, childhood dream come true. She's Anastasia. She's Anya. Uh, and all the opening night photos and all that stuff. Anyway, she's I'm marvelous sorry. in the show. She's, she's, she's my gosh, she's incredible. She also, I don't, I don't mean to be a segue yeah. here, but she got an Outer Critic Circle Award nomination, yes. and and Anastasia got, got the, the most, got the most of any show today. Thirteen nominations. So this is again, like I said last week, when the Drama League nominations come out. This is the time of year when it's. You get upset sometimes because yeah. people are left off lists, right. and they can. They're, they're, the lists are too short. They're too short. It's there's too true. many people not on the list, but there's a lot of great people on the list. Yeah, so we can celebrate and be sad and lead up to the Tony noms. When we turn the too. camera off, that's when I really say yeah. I Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but big, you know, big uh, hat tip to Anastasia for getting yes. 13 out of critics noms. Yeah. Uh, Hello Dolly got 10 nominations, and Come From Away and The Band's Visit tied with seven nominations. Right. So The Band's third. Visit is an off broad was off Broadway, yes. and, and I think there are rumors it's coming Fingers to Broadway. Crossed that it'll come to Broadway. Yeah. So yeah. now it's it definitely coming to Broadway. David yeah, Yazbek wrote it. It's it a genius. Yeah. David Yazbek people. Full Monty, Monty people. Come on. Dead Rotten Scoundrels. Women on the Verge. We're obsessed. Yeah, we are. All right. <laughs> So, also, the new revival of John Guare's Six Degrees of Separation opens which, on Broadway tonight. Which I love. Oh, my gosh. Like, I saw it last week, and I lost my Fantastic. mind. I, it's, I think it's better than the original. Look at I'm that. old enough to have seen the original, yes. and I think it's better. And, and Allison Janney. Amazing. Playing the role that was created by Stocker Channing. Yes. I mean, and we have John Benjamin Hickey and Corey Hawkins in there. Amazing. And watch the movie, too, by the way. Go see it on yeah. Broadway and then watch the movie, because Stocker totally. Channing is a genius. Yes. And she's totally different from Allison Janney. Yes. That's what I really liked about seeing There's actually a West Wing actresses. role. You have to have been on the West Wing to play this role. So. <laughs> and I've never seen the West Wing, yeah, so I barely get that reference. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I, knew it's, I know it's a thing. <laughs> so what else we have here? So I don't Billy, know. Billy Eichner and Seth Rogen oh look God. likely to star as Timon and Pumbaa in the live action Lion King film. This is crazy. Yeah. I mean, this is genius. Yes. This is actually like genius casting because they're both so funny. They're hilarious. But I'm confused about. Does I mean, that just mean they're doing voices? Is, that right. just vo- is this just voice, voice work? work? That's what this it's means. Voice work. So we're going to Does it mean they're, they're not going to Africa and getting into yeah, costumes? Yeah, and, and, and Billy Eck is not going to be inter- interviewing Simba <laughs> on the street and asking him questions. But they will be singing Hakuna Matata. So, what a wonderful phrase. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. wonderful casting. I'm into it. Yeah, I'm totally down with it. Um, Leslie Odom Jr., who won a Tony for Hamilton last yeah. year, is now a dad. He and Nick... Yeah. Congratulations. Right? Yeah, I love it. The applause went a little too long. Oh, so sweet. Uh, congratulations, yeah. Yes, and they put the photos up on Robinson social media. have a baby girl named Lucille Ruby. Love was that. born a few days ago. And Great you know, I'm really excited about that. Uh, what else do we have here? Bayork Lee is going to receive... Bayork. Bayork. Thank Sorry, you for... Just, no, I appreciate just, it. I'm old enough. Yeah. <laughs> Bayork Lee <laughs> is going to theme. receive the Isabel Stevenson Award from the Tonys this year yes. uh, for hu- her humanitarian work uh, with the National Asian Artists Project. But she's Connie. Yeah, and she's, she's the original, original Connie, Connie in a chorus line. line. And she directed... Yes. The last Course Line Revival. Yes. And that's kind of, she's made an amazing career out she of really recreating Michael Bennett's work on a Course Line. Yeah, and she, teaching it to legend. generations. I mean, like, if you talk to 
you know, the, the, all the great Broadway yeah, dancers right. now who worked on the revival, Tony. like, she's had an impact on so many people. Yeah, so. Tony Yazbek has a lot to say about her. Yeah. yeah. So it's really, it's great for her, for uh, the Tony is great for her. Uh, Broadway Cares made a, broke a record uh, this year at the Easter Bonnet Competition. Oh, wow. They're fundraising the past six weeks. Uh, they raised $6,379,572. Dollars. So shout out to all the Broadway stars yes. who, you know, came up with all these creative ways to get audiences, to give money. And I mean, so it's such an amazing time of year. And, you know, we saw that, you know, Glenn Close, like, went yes. to the Hamilton. She went, And, you know, they did all kinds of fun things to uh, compete with each other. And uh, that's and that's the it's end result of it all. $6.3 million. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. incredible. All for Broadway Cares. Uh, the new musical Bandstand, which opens on Broadway tomorrow night, love Bandstand, love uh, is producing a cast album with Broadway Records. Thank God, because I need this. I oh need my, this I, album. I can't stop singing it. I need it. Yeah. I need it. I need this music. I this, need this it music so I need. bad. Uh, it's being released yeah. on June 23rd, and uh, it's an original score by Richard Oberacher and Robert Taylor. They're a real couple in yes. their life, by the way, and they wrote this show together, and it's fabulous. It's it marvelous. Also, uh, we got production footage from Bandstand today, which is on the site. So if you haven't seen it yet, watch that footage mm -hmm. and get yourself over to the Jacobs. Because mm -hmm. it's really phenomenal. I have something to say about Bandstand, yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, what do you have to say? Right after I, I finished this thing, I'm going to put something up on the site. We uh, we did a... So when you see Bandstand, there's there um, obviously Laura Austin and Corey Codd are the two stars at Beth Level. Shout out to yes, Beth Level. Beth but Beth then Beth. the five guys in the band... Are phenomenal, and when I first saw the show at Paper Mill, I th when you walk away from the show, you really like want to know more about them. I think, and and uh, you know, I and I we did a great photo shoot with them. So anyway, Emilio Madrid Cruz did oh these beautiful photographs. Beautiful. We shot them at Twenty One Club. Uh, this is Alex Bender, Joe Carroll, who was um, in Cinderella. Yes. With, she he was a replacement as as Prince Topher. Yeah. Oh, I hate when there's a glare. Just look again. Good. Anyway, Good. just look at it on the site. Yeah. Uh, Very Jeff Packer, James Nathan Hopkins, and Brandon J. Ellis. And nice. they are incredible. And this is really a big, this is the first time any of them has had such a prominent role opening a brand new musical. So we, we're shining so the spotlight exciting. on them. And the photos are gorgeous. So shout nice. out to Emilio for the photos. Very cool. And also, we have a new episode of Laura Osnes' vlog with the band. Hi, Sarah Fitzpatrick. Hey, Sarah. What's up? So, uh, yeah, new episode of Laura Osnes' vlog with the band uh, on the site Backstage at Bandstand. So give that a watch. It's called Frozen, this episode. Yes. Not the musical. That. It's Not just the because musical. the show's Frozen. But speaking of <laughs> show Frozen, yes. uh, Frozen 2, segue. Frozen Accident Two, segue. the animated version of Frozen, not the Broadway-bound version, yes. announced a release date, a screen release date of June 19th. So it's coming out in theaters? Yeah, pardon me, November 19th, 2019, the okay. Frozen 2 animated film. I, th the, I thought there was already like a straight to video sequel. There wasn't. I guess, I no, wonder. I guess not. I thought it was straight. I to think video. there are a little like vignette Frozen like like oh. baby movies right. that have come right. out. Right. Yeah. To keep the kids. Yeah. Totally. It's uh, interesting because like the generation of kids is starting to change over. Yeah, they. You know sure what I mean? Have. Because yes. like Frozen, it's gonna be interesting. Anyway, the musical's coming in August. Yeah. In Denver. So exciting! Patty Murray and Casey Levy. Yeah. They're great. Yeah. And speaking of divas, not that we were really speaking Sorry, of divas, why? but uh, we have video footage from the new musical War Paint. Yeah, this, yeah this video, they made us wait yes. a little bit for it, but it was oh worth the gosh, wait. Totally it worth stunning. the wait. And you can hear Patty and Christine sing a little, get a little taste of it, and head over to the Nederlander. When did we get that album? Yeah. that's That one we have a date for. Um, soon. Yes. Very soon. Soonish. Indeed. And Carrie uh, just wrote, Go see Anastasia. I just wrote that. So we okay, agree with Carrie. Carrie. We'll spread the word. Go yeah, see Anastasia. <laughs> absolutely. Um, ben Platt and the cast of Dear Evan Hansen took part in Broadway Week on the Today Show this morning okay. in saying, You will be found. And Now, yeah, why is Dear Evan Hansen suddenly on every TV show? Well, because I think they want some Tony now. Ah, That's there you go. Thinking. That's yeah. what you do this time of year. Yes. You take a break in the cold months and then you. Come back and you're out everywhere and you remind Dude. everyone how great you are. So anyway. What's really cool about this video, in addition to hearing this incredible song, is all the understudies are with them, so you get to see a larger oh. cast and hear you know more voices, cool. so that's a lot awesome. of fun. And lastly, we have casting for Mary Poppins at Paper Mill Playhouse. Who's in it? Elena Shadow is playing Mary Poppins. Uh -huh. We love Elena Shadow. Uh, Mark Evans as Bert. Deirdre Friel as Mrs. Brill. Liz McCartney as Birdwoman and Miss Andrew. And Jill Pace as Winifred Banks. Liz McCartney of Taboo fame. Amen, sir. Love and her. Sunday in the Park with George yes, recently. Yes, I know. But Taboo, that I know. song. And apparently when she was in Sunday in the Park with George, she went on for um, 
for as, for, the, as the mother. Yes, I heard right? that. I yeah. think she was incredible. Yeah. She's anyway. such a great actress. Yeah. But, guys, Is that we, all you got? Yeah, that's all okay. I have. All right. Yeah. So, uh, let's bring on the fabulous Courtney Wilson, everyone. Bye, Andy. Take care. Bye, Andy. Hi. Hi. Laughter. Look at this. Look what I printed out. <laughs> so 20 years ago, this was a movie, right? It's still a movie. It's still a movie. <laughs> It's still a movie. <laughs> and now, look, look. Oh, oh that's my precious. God, look at that. It's like a recreation. Look of, how happy everybody is look hugging. Look at that. And now it's a musical. Things. And wait, that's you. That's me. Oh my God, and you're Romy. Swig. Yeah, so who's your co star? Tell me about. I don't know Stephanie. Stephanie Renee Wall, right? Stephanie and I just met. We met in just met. Seattle. Yeah, we did a little press promo thing to serve Did you guys do this. any readings of this together or anything? No, I'm oh, a newbie. Okay. Oh, you're the newbie. I'm the newbie. Oh, okay, Romy. Stephanie's been with it for a long time. She's LA-based. Okay. Um, She's like a magical Can't unicorn wait to meet you, creature. Stephanie. She's yeah. so funny and so beautiful. All the all the positive things you want to say about somebody, it's her. Oh, that's good. I'm yeah. glad you guys are getting along. Thank God, right? We'll, che we'll check in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna love each other. Uh, wait, is that is that daunting though when you like you're like I'm doing a big musical and. It's clearly about this chemistry between two it's based ladies. Based on and literal lady friendship. Yeah, it's all about that, yeah, and I like then you have to dance. like meet them, and then so thank God it worked out. We had never met, and then uh, everyone flew us to Seattle to do this big photo shoot, and they're like, you know, just meet there. So that I sent photo shoot, an email. The one yeah, them? this that like one. which was a they whole said, kick up day. your feet, kick up your heels. Point your we're feet. We're doing the poster. Peggy Hickey, point your feet. <laughs> and we're like, we're sorry, we're sorry. Um, <laughs> it was awesome. It was so fun, and they flew us there, and we'd never met, and then. We're in the hotel lobby, and we both were like, Ex excuse me, miss? <laughs> like, so sweet and so coy. <laughs> and I was like, are you? I'm, uh-huh. And then, skip to one day later, we were, like, toasting with a cocktail, oh, hugging, oh, telling our, like, okay, stories. All right. Great. All right, good. I, then I feel like the property is a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion. Yes. This, uh, this is a very, so, this, so it was Mira Servino and the brilliant Lisa Kudrow. Oh, yes. Um, and it was all about these two girls, right? And they're like in their late twenties, and they find out about this reunion, ten year reunion. Yes. And so they're like, "We're gonna go back and just make up all these great things about ourselves, right?" Yeah. Isn't basically, the they come to the realization as they're filling out a questionnaire about the reunion that uh, they've done practically nothing with their <laughs> lives, and but they uh, look good. But they look fierce. No, they look great. <laughs> they're gorgeous. I mean, both of them are amazing. Something to live up to. Um, and they say, "I have an idea. Let's make post its." And convince everyone that we own this brilliant business, and so everyone will think we're really cool. And so they show up and tell a big old lie, and you can imagine what happens if you That's haven't seen the movie. That's on the ground, people. post it yeah. There's a Post-it theme here. They're everywhere, yeah. all yeah. over us yeah. that day. Yeah, that's a thing. So <laughs> this, is in the fifth, this is at the Fifth Avenue Theater, where I've, I've been to that theater, the big big broadway size theater. Oh, yeah. In Seattle, Beautiful. have you ever been there before? I have. I played there with the Adams Family. Oh, yeah, you did the tour. I did the tour. You were Wednesday. I was Wednesday, but I missed five shows because uh, Hurricane Sandy was happening in New York. And I was the brilliant one who got on the plane to New York. Oh, so you were stuck in New York? And I got stuck. During the Seattle part? Shows. Uh, yeah, I, I ended up flying in like a week later, basically, to do the show. So I have played it, but I didn't get to Do you think in. everyone in Seattle is really angry at you? Like, that's the girl that wasn't in. She's that idiot who got on the plane <laughs> to New York and to Sandy. I remember being on the airplane looking around going... Gosh, there sure aren't a lot of people here. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, girl, there's a hurricane coming. Uh, so, Courtney, you were on Live at Five before because you were in uh, Kinky Boots. I was in Kinky for Boots. For a long time. Yeah. Uh, you started, what, in the ensemble? I started in the ensemble like 100, I think, 50 years ago. It feels like now. Um, I came in three, like two, three months after the Tonys. Okay. Uh huh. Something like that. Right. And then uh, I stayed and then I replaced, uh, I have to say it right, Lena Hall, Selena Carvajal. A.K.A. Wait, wait, what do you, what do you mean to say? Because you, you want to say her real well, name. Well, I knew her before. Her, her former name, right. Yes, yes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Formerly. The, Selena Carvajal. Of, of um, the search for Elle Woods. Of the search for Elle Woods, which is <laughs> yes, how I yes. initially knew her. Yes. <laughs> and uh, when she went on to go big, her win her big Tony, I yes. took over for her in Kinky Boots. And so yeah. there just over three years. Yeah. So. And you had a nice run there. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. It was yeah. A great show. Um, and so, do, but the opportunity to originate something in a brand new musical is, this is what everybody wants, right? Oh, bucket list. Yeah. I mean, I, it's a dream come true. I'm so, so, so excited. So let's talk about the team behind this. Because, um, so, uh, Kristen Han, Hanji, Hanji? Hangi. Hangi? 
Hey! Uh, I just know her as the genius director behind Rock of Ages. Genius. Uh, she's your director. She is the leader of the pack. She's so amazing. you auditioned for her. I auditioned for her. I auditioned did for you a know big her? room of people. No, uh, I had I knew her. You're in the Broadway circles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. from auditioning and seeing, you know, the, the fancy things. But no, we'd never worked together. We didn't. We'd never touched uh-huh. hands or uh-huh. skin. Uh-huh. Now did, we have. And now we have. Um, <laughs> did the audition go well? Did you like walk out and go, I think I nailed. Did you say to your adorable husband, Curtis, hi, Curtis Holbrook. Hi, Curtis did you Holbrook. say, oh, I think I nailed it. I did maybe send him a text in the morning. Saying, way. might have nailed Romy. I was like, I think. Was it definitely went... for Romy? Yeah, so it was yes, for Romy. You definitely for Romy. Romy. Okay. I, said, I think that went really well. And then I walked from my audition um, in Chelsea on the west side to the Apple store on the Fifth Avenue Apple. I bought something? Um, no, I was picking up my computer, but normally in that situation you would take like the MTA or, I don't know, an Uber. And I walked in my heels because I was like energized energy, from, energy, <laughs> from the, the energy, moment. Right. And like was texting like, and like... And then here's a super secret is that that evening my husband and I went to sleep. I woke up at 6 a.m. like, I wonder if I'll hear today. And then I had a new Instagram follower, which was Romy Michelle the Musical. And so I went, uh-oh, either this is great news or a really mean trick. So is that how they're casting people now? They just <laughs> That's how you find out if you got it? I know. Oh, God. You know, Maybe. You also just got another Instagram follower. You just got me. I just started following you on Instagram like 20 minutes ago. Oh, I'm so happy. And the funny I'll thing was I looked at it, and then I noticed that Romeo and Michelle was like commenting on your photos, that same that same account. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that you're like friends with the show account. Well, before I even got an offer, then I was like, yes. I mean, dream. I, I grew Did up. Did you have to negotiate over comments on Instagram with the oh, production? Is that how yeah, it works? Like, uh, can my agents join Instagram, please? <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, emoji dollar signs. You Just know what please. I found out when I was doing my research? This this movie was actually best on a play. Yes. Ladies, Ladies room. room. Yeah. Which Starring. Lisa Kudrow was Lisa in. Kudrow. That's so crazy. Yeah. So it actually started in the theater. And it's, I mean, based on, you know, girls who look like them in L.A. living their dreams. Wow. It's so funny. So, and it's an original score. It's an original score. It's not a jukebox by, musical. Yes, correct. Written by uh, the writers from... Gwendolyn Sanford and Brandon J. Who were writers from Orange is the New Black and Weeds. What does that mean? That means they write the... Uh, I mean, obviously, Orange is the New Black is not a musical. I mean, if you have, like, great episode. ten minutes on your hands with nothing to do, just go Spotify Orange is the New Black. Uh-huh. And Gwendolyn Sanford and Brandon J., who are a married couple who do music and lyrics, will pop up. And you can listen to... I may have done this. You can listen to all of the background music on Orange is the New Black. Cool. It's super cool. It's super trendy. It's not like necessarily the vibe of the score from right. Michelle, but right. they're brilliant. Interesting. It's really exciting, yeah. So what was it like? So have you done any readings of it now at this point? Nope. No. <laughs> I mean, I read it right. myself. Right, so you, but you haven't actually, because you didn't do any of the workshops, right? Yeah, no, I mean, that's kind of the exciting thing about it, is I show up in Seattle, like, hi, world, here we go. Read the scripts. Are there, like, demos you're listening to? There are demos I'm listening okay, to. Listening they're to the demos, awesome. They're to the so music. funny. I read it on the airplane, actually, in the back from way back from Seattle to New York, uh-huh. and I laughed so loud that I had to tell the guy next to me what was happening, because I embarrassed myself. I'm Romy. And I it's a musical cried now. twice. You cried reading it? <laughs> and I, I, of course, I'm partial because I'm very excited, but it's really touching. It's a great story. Well, these girls, yeah, because it's like an interesting journey they go on. Yeah, and it's about girl power friendship, and it's a, a female love story. It's actually mm. really beautiful. Mm-hmm. I we, love it. The audiences love female love stories. Hello, Wicked. Exactly. Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. worked out. It really does work. <laughs> it's fun. And it's a girl, I mean, all of the, the creative team are primarily women, which I've never personally been in a situation where you're, it's a musical starring women created by women. Robin Schiff, who wrote the screenplay, also right, adapted it right. for the stage. So right, it's like right. her and Peggy Hickey and Kristen Hangy and Gwendolyn and Stephanie, who's playing yeah. Michelle and me. It's just a bunch of... Estrogen, it's going to be yes, awesome. Estrogen, I love it. <laughs> so when do you leave and go off to the West Coast? Uh, we start rehearsals May 12th in Seattle. Seattle's beautiful. It's beautiful. You excited yeah. to be there? for? Yeah, I'm super excited. All the locals told me that uh, May and June are dry months there. Mm. I don't know if they're just tricking me, but they told me it's going to be really sunny. So it's not going to be constant rain and fog. Apparently not. Okay. No. We'll see. Okay. I mean, I'm from Indiana. I've seen worse. Right. And it's <laughs> running June 8th through July 2nd. 
who have found a theater in Seattle, and people can buy tickets now. And oh my God, you're in it! Oh my God, I can't How wait! Exciting. Come see us; it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. Maybe Turn I, off CNN. I feel like and I go watch Romeo and Michelle. I might need to go to Seattle. Oh, this might come. be a good opportunity to go to Seattle. I love Seattle. It's going to be a blast. It okay. really is. All right. Well, maybe I'll see you there. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Live at five. We'll be back tomorrow with another amazing guest like Courtney Wolfson. Bye. Bye. Bye.